Hi, I'm Dr. Mickey Barber. I'm the CEO and Chief Medical Officer of Senogenics Carolinas. We're an age management medical practice. I want to talk a little bit about um, hormones and the controversy regarding hormones, both for men and women. Um, sometimes when things come out in the media, there are little snippets of information um, that come from very well done studies, and I think that's something that all of us need to take home. Uh, case in point would be the Women's Health Initiative, which was a huge study which looked at hormone replacement therapy in a specific subset of women looking at specific use of synthetic hormones. Um, I believe it's been pretty pretty much misinterpreted in a lot of ways, um, and I have looked at the study many times. So it's important to talk to your doctor and find out what are the real facts. And then look at that study and compare it to other studies that look at bioidentical or more natural hormone uses of hormones that are applied to the skin. And in many cases, they have exactly the opposite effect on, say, uh, risk of heart disease or risk of gallbladder disease or other things that you may have heard about in the media. Um, same with men and hormones. Uh, what you hear about uh, the use of steroids in athletes is completely different than looking at hormone deficiencies in um, a 45-year-old man, for example, who is experiencing signs of andropause, and then treating those hormone deficiencies by using the minimal amount of hormones that you can in conjunction with healthy eating, a good exercise program, and lifestyle management. So it's all those components put together. So you need to be working with a physician that truly understands both sides of the story, the real facts, and the importance of integrating all of those factors together.